When we try to find the area of a circle, we're looking for how much space the inside of a figure occupies in a plane. Now normally when we're working with polygons, we know this is going to be some form of base times height. However, circles aren't polygons and they don't have a base and height. So instead, we have to find the area of a circle by using the equation area is pi times radius squared. Today we're going to see where this formula comes from and practice using it. We're going to start with these two pizzas because they're circles. I'm going to take one of them and cut them along four diagonals in order to create eight slices. When I create my eight slices, I can then start rearranging the area of the circle into a figure that I know more about in order to help me better understand my circle. When we rearrange these eight slices, we can turn them into something that closely resembles a parallelogram. If we know to find the area of a parallelogram, we would multiply base times height. We're going to use this figure now to see how it relates better to the circle and see if we can change this equation into what we need for circles. Let's start by looking at the height. We know the height is going to be the distance from the top base to the bottom base. We know it pretty closely is going to resemble the radius, so we're going to go ahead and substitute radius in place of height of our equation. Now we need to look at the bases. Our top base and our bottom base are both created from the edge of the circle, or the circumference. However, the circumference is split between the top and bottom, so that means each base represents half the circumference. So when I substitute that into my equation, I'm now working with area is one half times circumference times radius. We now need to call upon what we know about circumference. One way to find the circumference of a circle is by doing two times pi times radius. So we're going to substitute that in now. This means our equation is now one half times two times pi times radius times radius. We need to do some simplifying. Let's start by multiplying one half times two. 1 half times 2 gives us 1, which brings us to area is 1 times pi times radius times radius. We don't need to keep a coefficient of 1, so let's go ahead and drop it. That brings us down to area is pi times radius times radius. We know that when we multiply a value times itself, it's the same as raising it to the exponent of 2. So we can change radius times radius to radius squared. This means we're at our final equation of area of a circle is pi times radius squared. We're going to look at two examples for finding the area of the circle. One where we're told what the radius is, and the other where we're told what the diameter is. Let's start out with our radius. We know our equation for finding area of a circle is pi times radius squared. For pi, we're going to use 3.14. We have a radius of 5 inches, so we're going to solve 5 squared. Remember, when we're solving an exponent, we're multiplying the number times itself. So 5 squared means we need to solve 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, so to find our area, I need to multiply 3.14 times 25. When I use my rules for decimal multiplication, that's going to give me 78 and 5 tenths. Since my circle is labeled in inches, my area needs to be labeled in square inches. So the area of our circle comes out to be 78 and a half square inches. Now, what if our circle has a diameter instead of a radius? We still have to use the equation area is pi times radius squared. So I'm still going to start out as 3.14 for pi. But before I can multiply, I have to find what my radius is. Radius is always half the diameter. So since my diameter is 6, I know my radius is going to be half that, or 3 inches. So I'm solving 3.14 times 3 squared. Again, when we solve something to the exponent, we're multiplying the value times itself. 3 squared means I need to solve 3 times 3. I'm going to find my area by doing 3.14 times 9. Using my rules for decimal multiplication, 3.14 times 9 gives me 28 and 26 hundredths. My circle is measured in inches, so my area needs to be labeled in inches, specifically square inches. So the area of this circle comes out to be 28 and 26 hundredths square inches. Thank you. 